It's a sports show. Even though he's only five years old, Jack Audi is reading at a fifth grade level. His mom, Alicia, says he taught himself to read. And while she's astounded by those flashes of brilliance, she's also frustrated by this. Hey, hey, hey. As much as Jack is capable of, there are times when his autism won't let him do much more. You get that initial di diagnosis and, and you're completely devastated. And that devastation somewhat turns into desperation because then you're immediately trying to find treatment. And what's the best treatment? It turns out the next treatment might be this red capsule. It's called mecamilamine and was the first pill used to treat high blood pressure in the 1950s. By the time Alicia was a child, it was nearly obsolete, but now it might just help her child and a million more with autism. If it works, um, it would be a, a really important breakthrough. Dr. Eugene Arnold and his team of researchers at Ohio State University Medical Center will test the drug on kids with autism. He says it's not what the drug did in the 50s to help with high blood pressure that's giving them hope, but what it's done recently. Mecamilamine has been effective in helping kids control the symptoms of conditions like Tourette syndrome and attention deficit disorder and may do the same in autism. There is some hope that it will make a significant improvement in the core symptoms, the social impairment, the communication, the repetitive behavior, such that it will help them get faster along the road to habilitation. And ironically, the newest drug that might help them do that has been around for generations. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.